called Please Wait to be Tasted. <laughs> Hannah joins us live this morning. Good morning, Hannah. Hi, good morning. Uh, so you had me hooked and very excited with this pineapple ambrosia. That just sounds amazing, especially for a hot summer day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this salad, it's kind of perfect for right now. Um, you know, like it's, we love it as like a breakfast salad even. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really simple, so I went ahead and composed it. And, and a lot in the book, we, we try and encourage our, our audience to experiment and play, so nothing set in stone. If you don't have this type of radish or even the pineapple, you can substitute apples or oranges. It's just kind of a, the idea of a salad. Right. Uh, so take so, us through how you made that. So essentially, I cut up pineapple um, and then avocado and then thinly sliced watermelon radish and regular um, red radish and composed it in a way that, you know, is beautiful and fun, but I haven't dressed it yet. Um, so what I'm going to do to dress it is I made a little, I'm going to make a little salt using a uh, dried lemon verbena. Okay. Uh, which is an herb you can buy it bulk online or, at, uh, you know, a specialty grocery store. Yeah, it kind of looks like this, just a dried herb. Okay. Um, I grind it in a spice bread grinder, mm -hmm. so you get a nice powder, and then I mix it with salt. And we do this with a lot of different herbs and, and sort of uh, other seasonings to make the salt like a little more flavorful. Gives it a little, yeah, a little more punch. Yeah. So the lemon verbena is like floral and a little fruity, and um, it's a nice unexpected taste. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Okay. We love like fruit and salt. Right, because it, so it just perfect. balances out the flavors. Yeah, the sweetness and it mm -hmm. takes me straight to the beach. <laughs> so tropical um, comfort food, Hannah. You, I s assume that everything in the book and at your restaurant, is it all just meant to be very light and, and you know, great for a hot day? Yeah, you know, where we live in the Hudson Valley, it's really bountiful with local farms and all the restaurants really focus on that, which is great. And I think when we were creating a restaurant, we just wanted to create something that's different. And, um, you know, there's a very sort of farm to table, rustic aesthetic that's that's quite popular up here. And we just wanted something that was the exact opposite of that. So we really love to use um, the Hudson Valley Bounty and all the fresh farm produce, but we also, you know, like to source our tropical foods. There's a lot of lime juice and herbs and chilies and um, fresh fruits. So oh. that's kind of our vibe. Yeah, and Hannah, we're looking at pictures from the restaurant right now. Everything is bursting with color, right? Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah, so, we want it to be like a, a full sensory experience. So when you come in, it's, you know, it's not like you're just walking into a restaurant, you're coming into our world. So Hannah, did you start out as an art student? So how did you end up doing this? Yeah, my, my partner and I both, we uh, separately had different backgrounds. I studied painting um, at Rhode Island School of Design and she studied performance art at Bard. And so it is kind of this perfect marriage of, you know, it's like very visual, but it's also an immersive experience. And, and I think we both separately gravitated towards food. I think for me, I just, I love that food really can affect all the senses, you know, like yeah. more than painting, you have smells and sounds and tastes and, and also the visual. Visual is really important to me because it's the first thing you experience. Yeah, food is art as well. So uh, take us through the, the finishing up of our, our ambrosia. Okay, so I just uh, squeezed a little lime juice on it mm -hmm. to give it a little extra um, acid. And then I'm gonna pour a little olive oil. Okay. Just a nice drizzle. And did and you say I'm, you could eat this for breakfast? Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. <laughs> breakfast, snack. I mean, this is even like a good after dinner kind of. Uh, I mean, if someone put this on the table after dinner, I would be very happy to have something <laughs> fresh like that. So it's very, um, you know, multifunctional. And then now I'm finally putting a little queso cotija cheese, which is kind of a, a firm, salty Mexican cheese. Oh. And I'm, I'm grating it using a microplane so you can get just a nice, uh, texture and so there it is and, and we really throughout the book encourage our readers to eat with their hands because that's how we like to eat a salad like this mm -hmm. um, but you know if you're feeling a little more proper a fork and knife work as well but yeah and so you have lots of traditional foods but you're putting a twist on them yeah like you know sometimes we'll draw I'm from Alabama and my partner her family's Ecuadorian 
And so, and I lived in Mexico for a while on the beach. And so we kind of like to draw from those experiences and food memories, but then take those dishes and just put them in our blender and give them a little spin that, that is more the little Dubs Oasis style. Well, it was great talking with you this morning. Our thanks to Hannah Black and Please Wait to Be Tasted comes out on Tuesday. It's available yeah. for pre-order now through your favorite bookseller and you can find more about the book and the restaurant on Facebook and Instagram at Little Deb's Oasis. Thanks again, Hannah. We'll be right Thank back. Thank you. Bye.